what is going on guys week number seven is in the books uh, first and foremost I want to say thank you guys so so much for your awesome comments your love and support on last week's video it really means a lot to me especially coming off of the uh, of the body comp I yeah that was really it was really kind of a downer to be perfectly honest um, and this week I'm actually not doing my body comp this week just because I don't want to I want to take a I want to take a break from it um, I felt like you know I I just didn't feel like it was truly a representation of how my body is changing so I'm taking a break from that this week uh, so the difference between oh so this week was the beginning of phase three so we are now into phase three uh, the difference between phase two and phase three is it turn up to an 11 it's totally different. <laughs> uh, so now we're working, so instead of working out four days a week, we're working out five days a week. Um, and I ended up starting this week on Sunday instead of Monday. So I've already completed all five days. Today's actually a free day for me, um, which I'm very excited about because today I will probably be doing deadlifts. Uh, that's the one thing about phase three that I'm not 100% happy with is that there's no deadlifts at all. Uh, there's bench and there's squats, but there's no deadlifts. So, um, I don't know there's Romanian deadlifts but that mainly works your hamstrings and it's not like the full uh, deadlift so today will probably be a deadlift day for me so I'm very excited about that um, there's really not a whole lot to report um, you know I didn't have any PRs this week I didn't have anything special going on except for the fact that um, it was five days a week it was a grinder uh, there was a lot of uh, it's a lot of supersets a lot of movements that I've never tried before there's this one thing called a commando row and basically you're like you're you're in like a push-up position except you have dumbbells in your hand yeah and then you pick one arm up in a row and you alternate while you're like in the push-up position on the ground and that was so challenging I was thinking like what what in the heck are these guys thinking like oh my gosh yeah, it was very, very challenging, and I did have to do most of it on my knees. But you know what? You uh, you you change things up. You alter them. Um, if there's something that you physically can't do or is a little bit challenging for you, it's okay to change things up. If you're feeling something that doesn't feel comfortable or whatnot, just it's okay to change. It's okay. So. Um, I didn't really record any footage. I know that you guys really liked the style of last week. I do hope to do do that um, more of that, but this week it was just, I was just trying to get through this week to be perfectly honest. Um, but I did get footage of this exercise right here. I know it's gonna look a little strange, uh, but the it was a uh, hamstring day and it called for, um, it called for hamstring curls and then weighted glute raises or weighted hip extension something like that weighted hip extensions you'll see you'll see um, but uh, I saw this on Josie Mai's channel and what she did is she did the the uh, the raised I think it's raised hip extension is what it's called or weighted hip extension um, she did that on the uh, hamstring curl machine and I was like oh my gosh that seems interesting so I decided to give it a try it looks really weird it feels kind of weird like I, it feels like you're gonna end up on one of those videos that people record in the gym of like what the heck is this person doing but it works as a great alternative um, and I definitely recommend it and when you're doing like the pulsating uh, extensions it looks super strange but the burn in your bottom is legit so I recommend trying it you never really know um, I will probably try it again just because um, I don't know just because I felt a little bit more comfortable sometimes when you have the bar and you have the weights on the end if, if you put that bar on your hips sometimes that's um, it's not very comfortable so um, I, I recommend giving it a shot as far as food is concerned I've actually been pretty good on uh, pretty good uh, eating on my diet this week like I've been saying I raised my calories and I don't know if I fully explained what I ended up doing so since I do my body comp I have a general idea of what my BMR is what my basal metabolic rate is which means if I woke up sat on the couch and did absolutely nothing all freaking day that is how many calories my body would burn so I have an idea of what that is so that's what I put as my calories 
um, in my fitness pal so that would be considered like my maintenance calories if I wanted to stay the same weight this is what I would eat all day every day um, and I would probably be pretty you know probably just be maintenance so I put that in my fitness pal and then my goal is to have a deficit every single day I'm trying to have a 500 calorie deficit because if you have a 500 calorie deficit every day or at least on the in the week you have a 3500 calorie deficit that's a pound a week so one pound is 3,500 calories. So I tried to aim for a deficit every day. Um, so far it's been going well. There was a day that I ate maintenance because I was, I have been thinking about, uh, there's, a rest, there's a place here called Wingstop. And I have been thinking about their fries for about three weeks. I've been thinking about them and thinking about them and thinking about them for three weeks. And finally I said, you know what? I've been thinking about these fries for three weeks. I'm going to just go for it and have them. Um, and so I had them and they were worth every single bite. And the next day I got up and I got right back on it. I'm kind of feeling like I'm at the point where I can control things like that as far as like if I want something bad enough like I'll, I'll treat myself and I'll have it but then the next day or what or later on that day or whatever you go back right back to it so instead of like having it feeling guilty and then doing it all over again the next day because you feel guilty you just did it yeah it's okay like it's not gonna kill me um, I'm actually uh, I got on the scale this morning and I've actually broken through that 222 uh, little mini plateau that I was on for the last month. So I got up this morning, weighed in at 220 pounds. So I'm super happy about that. And uh, I feel like I'm everything's going in the right direction. So that is what is going on with my food. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. I found these rice puffs. All it is is just rice puffed rice um, but one cup is 50 calories and it has uh, for you, you guys that can check your macros it has zero fat 14 carbs and one protein no sugar um, or the organic uh, all kinds of good oh, stuff but I put this in yogurt it's a great filler um, and makes you feel really full and it's a it's a it's kind of like a more bang for your buck and that's what I'm all about um, I also uh, tried this morning, I tried Zotes. For those, those of you who follow me on Instagram, you have seen a picture of that. So, um, and Zotes, same thing. It adds more volume to your oatmeal, it's more bang for your buck, um, very little calories, and you don't even taste them. So, that's just a couple of things I discovered this week as far as food is concerned. Um, as far as mentally, I wanted to kind of brush on this. I know this video is getting a little long, so I apologize. Um, but mentally, I wanted to talk about how where my head has been this week mentally this week i've kind of been tired of the grind so phase three we've bumped from four days a week to five days a week uh, and i've been working out for like a week straight because i ended up bumping um week six and week seven kind of all together and um just because of the way that my rest periods worked out last week and just the way that my rest periods are working out this week and to be perfectly honest, like, like I, my, okay, so here's my routine. I get up about 5.20 in the morning. I either go work out and then go to work or I do stuff around the house, dishes, laundry, things like that. And then I go to work and then either, um, and then after work, I go to the gym. I come home about 8, 8, 8.30 and come home, eat dinner, try to relax a little bit prep all my food and stuff for the next morning and then go to bed well if I were single that would be great that's fine there's nothing wrong with that but I'm not I'm in a committed relationship and I don't feel like I'm able to spend enough quality time with that person because I'm on this grind it's like every single day you're doing this and this I know in the end it's gonna be worth it I truly know that it's already been worth it so far but it's just mentally it just got to me this week um, and also in the gym, like I haven't been able to uh, listen to music because I've been wearing like yoga pants and tights and so I have nowhere to put my phone. So I bought these Bluetooth headphones. Cool little things. Here's the box, they're Mopal. 
Bluetooth headphones. I paid for them with my own money. I'm not sponsored by them. Uh, but I bought these and uh, they just fit over your ear. And there's no like dangly cord or anything like that. Um, and so I'm gonna give these a shot today in the gym, see how they go. Um, but I'll probably do a review on these just because uh, I like them so far. So uh, look for a review video on these uh, in the near future. Um, but yeah, just mentally I've just kind of not been there. Um, I've been pushing myself still, but just kind of getting tired of the grind. But I'm going on vacation next week, so I will have a break. Um, and being that I'm on vacation next week, weeks eight and nine videos are gonna be combined into one. So there's not gonna be a uh, an update next week because I will be out of town. Um, and also, if you guys follow me on any of my other social media, uh, I will be radio silent. So I've made the commitment that I'm going to take a break. I'm going to um, and spend time uh, with Kelly because we have not been able to really spend quality time together in quite some time. So just to let you guys know. Um, hopefully I'll have a couple of videos up next week while I'm gone so that way um, it, so that way it's not two weeks before I have another video up uh, so be on the lookout for those. But yeah so weeks eight and nine are going to be combined. I think I'm going to take my program with me and try to um, and try to fit in my workouts uh, in the hotel gym. So I think I can I think I can alter things and, and make it work. Um, but yeah, that's that's the goal, that's the plan. I'll let you guys know how that is in two weeks. So that's that's what's going on. Weeks eight and nine will be combined. And then after that, we're gonna move on to phase four, which is six days a week and a bunch of more craziness. Um, but yeah, we're almost done with this 12 week program. I can't believe we're almost done. It's super crazy. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching um, and following me on my journey. It really means a lot to me. All my social media is down in the description below. Be sure to follow me, uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see uh, me finish this 12 week program. And I will talk to you guys later.